All right. Yay. Okay, I am going to bring it on in and welcome you back to the coming the Renaissance Design Science Salon for the Choose Your Own Adventure segment inside of the Vision Train. And we have such a treat, such a treat for everyone. Wow, I believe that Alicia is going to really kick this session off uh, and introduce. I am absolutely. I'm super stoked to uh, to welcome in Marv Radio and um, this. You know, Marv is a, an incredible wordsmith, um, but here in his bio, it says showman, speaker, MC, beatbox champ, breath worker, sound magician. Marv Radio is the vocal alchemist. This is a fully interactive looping session where Marv will create music live from audience suggestions, which is such a treat. Uh, type your words or subjects into the chat and Marv will turn them into full songs. Marv, welcome and thanks for your patience today. Uh, I have a good friend, Cornflower, who does similar things where he invites people to put, um, you know, words in the chat and makes music out of them. And I would love to see a collaboration with the, the two of you. So I will connect you in on that. Um, but I'm so excited for what's about to go down. Beautiful. It is a pleasure to be here. I just want to know how my volume is for everybody. If you can all hear me clearly. I'm just going to turn myself up a little bit. Wonderful. So... Yes, I look forward to connecting with Cornflower and it was also beautiful to hear the poetry earlier which was really evoking the healing potential of hip-hop. This is something that I think is really slept on in the world is how this intelligent movement of improvisation, of beatboxing, of using your voice, using your body, dancing, moving was originally the street shamanism. It was, it was kind of our yoga. If we're moving and grooving with our bodies then we're activating the physical essence when we're evoking the music and DJing and graffiti and we're just trying to embody all of the different elements that bring life to art and art to life. So without further ado, I'm going to get things kicked off. So the way this is going to work is that if you have a subject that you would like me to make a song about, you can write in capital letters. And if you have just a word that you want me to flow in, then I will just put it as you put the words in, I'll put them put it into musical form. So again, capital letters, subject, small letters, just words to put in. So I would love to have some suggestions. And as we're doing that, I'm going to be creating this soundscape right now with my loop station. So, oh, Mother Earth, Rise and Shine. You know what? That sounds like one song. And I'm going to start bringing the words into this. <sighs> Mother Earth, 
We rise and shine Mother Earth Rise and shine yeah. Mother Earth We rise and shine in the chat let's bring them into this first one and I already have some other suggestions for the second one let's go we rise and shine so it's time that we rise and shine and see what we're seeing we get the liberation from our interbeing every single day we be breathing Wake up every day and it's a new dawn New things to start, new things to carry on And what's the solution? We need to let go of this pollution Cause plastic has consciousness too It's a shame that they turn the oil to a piece of plastic To wrap round our food, we don't need it Bananas have wrapping too So, I'm just trying to rap to you As the emergence shows me what I need to do Slow down and move up and flow down, yeah. So Mother Earth, rise and shine, rise and shine. We rise and shine, Mother Earth, rise and shine, yeah. Mother Earth, we rise and shine, yeah. Gotta keep it all fresh with the style Cause we know that our mother is wild So Do we have the nerve to walk into a home And not even observe The first rule of pun permaculture is Observation So you can see a different kind of Meditation Celebration Cause We all know where it flows Whether it's microplastics or the microbes Maybe mycelium could find a solution Oyster mushrooms and other kinds of mushrooms Can change oil into something we can consume man. All the solutions are on this earth We flow Have to read the words in the order Meg said it's so dope We keep on vibrating higher and higher the birds and we love you too so we keep on going to inspire relish our place where we stand know that we are beyond the powers of woman and man we are something greater find a way to connect to nature and the creator for life's sake what do we make when we're awake or well, dr slow i just don't know if we're awake or this is a dream i can't tell one or the other i'm just trying to discover what I can create in the moment where I sing for my mother. So, we rise and shine, take the cover off to uncover. Mother Earth, Mother Earth, rise and shine, yeah. Mother Earth, we rise and shine. Mother Earth, rise and shine, yeah. Mother Earth, we rise and shine. So the rebirth, what can we say? We grow our wings and we rise in faith To know that we can recycle Keep on following the cycle like a new bicycle Upcycle, one wheel turning, that's a unicycle Get our just desserts like a trifle Towering above like the Eiffel uh. These new signals we receive let us let go so the early signals be the worm that we eat So the bird get up early, find a new worm Keep it all curling like my hair with no perm Read the wisdom as we learn how to listen Shift the collective, the collective is shifting We just need to breathe into what we can see To realise this is the harmony Yeah, I see Brian Flaherty He talks about Bob Marley themes That's standing up for your rights Well I'm learning that's the only thing that's right So we all gotta stand up When we see pain like Rwanda Like Palestine, like Congo So we stand up and shine Remind people that inside we're divine I'm trying to vibrate higher And feel like I feel free when we just be See the mirror in the other I can see myself in you Do you see you in me? It's unity, the truth you see Moving up and down with the fluency 
There's plenty to rise and shine, so we know we do rise and we redefine, mother. mother Earth. Rise and shine, yeah. Mother Earth. We rise and shine, Mother Earth. Rise and shine, yeah. Mother Earth. We rise and shine. I'm not gonna read any more words, so I'll make a new song and I'll never rehearse. I can put it in forward, put it in reverse. Put it in reverse. <laughs> okay, that was the first one, so. This is only going to resist an, exist in this recording because I like to start with a blank canvas. That song is now deleted from anything other than your consciousness in this beautiful re recording stream. So um, let's see. At first Hello. I said it was dope, and now I think it also qualifies as sick. <laughs> sick. Well, you know what? As a vocal alchemist, I'm trying to reframe <laughs> these words. So let's yeah, call so it healthy. It let's call it healthy. It should be like healthy, <laughs> right? Like kombucha. Kombucha. I love what? it. No, for, for me, actually, it's, it's a funny thing. Before I got given the name radio by some Ecuadorian shamans, yeah, sounds very gap here, but it is true. Um, I was called Marv Ill. That was Marvel, Marvel, hip hop, rap, ego, those things. And I soon learned that the words that we say are really powerful. So I no longer want to say sick, I want to say healthy. And when people say, you're killing it, I'm like, we're healing it. So, um, yeah, a little bit more energy if anybody wants to. I, I can see the I'm chat. I'm picking up I what you're putting up. down. Or I'm lifting up what was already below. Oh, that's flow. That's flow. Lifting up what's above and below. So I see that the chat has, I kind of used up all the words in that one song. My bad. I have, I eat through words like, you know. Like, I don't know, I've got a munchies or something. So keep those words coming. And I would also like to have any suggestions about what this not next song could be about. Yes, we always have more words. We always have more words. Even dope, that's right. Dope is oh, such a fun word to say, but it is a drug, isn't it? So, all right. Produce resilience. I think I can produce a song about produce and resilience. Okay. I'm going to change up the rhythm a little bit this time. What we produce can be brilliant. That's why we show that strength, that hardiness and resilience. You're a billionaire, like sales, you got billions. But they focus on money, guess they're not listening. 
Instead, we cruise towards our re evolution. It's like each and every heart is a true solution, a way to be a teacher and a student. Constantly moving, constantly moving. and the meanings. The soul fire be lit. And that's literally how we find our fire in our soul. That's how we produce something that can grow. And as we grow in strength and resilience, we can see that we add more love and peace to the ambience. Yummy, yummy, ying. I'ma sing and I'ma sing. An addictive fast high, that's dope if you don't know the last ride That we gon' take to the sky to find We are one with the creator, it's just space and time From pretense to presence From defense to sentence, I don't want a life sentence Repentance, no full stop, no period no exclamation marks Cause this word is continuing on Like it always has To find that early moment where We produce from gas, from light, from earth From fire, from water, from air Cause anything comes from something that wasn't there The single point, the singularity Shifting reality Living in fantasy Few more words in the chat and we can keep on rolling Keep it open. So we roll, we flow, we chill when we're bruising. Alive, we fly to the goal of our choosing. To the goal of our choosing. So we roll, we flow, we chill when we're bruising. Alive, we fly for the goal of our So resilience is keep on going when we get knocked down, pick up and stay up and not down. Even if we get knocked to the floor, we find ways to turn that fall down to a lesson and a metaphor. See what else is in store, see what else could be mine and yours. Sharing together, imagination open to the possibility of the dream fulfilled, the dream that's spilled, the dream that's shared, the dream that's cared for by those who love it. Another word, another subject, another moment just to flow, another moment to grow and know that our souls are connected to above and below. We are all infinite, all limitless, all starting, never finishing. Just a cycle. Just get yourself an eyeful. Just get yourself an eyeful. Any more words? Any more words? Okay, I flow what's on my mind until I see more words. So, it always shocks me that it's just one moment. Sometimes we lose that knowledge and focus. Sometimes we get caught up in the magic of others, that hocus pocus that has us believe in things that are bogus. Because we dream and we see in more than 3D, in 5D, we let go. Call, call that the release. Free yourselves from the blood metals. Free your blood from the heavy metal poisoning. Find yourself a way to keep on running. Find yourself that way that you need to go to. Find that gate that you need to go through, flow through. Find a new way to be so you can see. Radical, through it all. Know that we're from the roots, that's rootical. Nourish the ground under your feet And you will get the feed from the earth You can plant every seed When a child wants to play So let that baby be free Let your innocence and brilliance Flow through that resilience And keep on producing we'll Find new solutions We know who we are And we know how we serve We let go 
that way we can let go of these nerves This tension ripped from mama's belly by undervalued bodies and clever minds Well, some people say never mind, but mind is over matter Matter's over mind, it's all flipped the script So understand or understand the words we say are limitless We choose to transcend in the cauldron And find that this is way more than just music or performance So... Keep producing, keep doing what you're doing. As long as finding your finding your So just rest. See, you're the only one left. Oh, that was fun. Thank you. You're giving me some great words because honestly, when I'm freestyling by myself, it's a lot of fun. But when I see these beautiful words that can help me relate to the people on the other side of this screen, it allows us to make this music together. And if we ever should so happen to be in the same space time continuum and we're in a space where we don't have the time and issues that come with Zoom, I would love to pass the mic around or hear other people play their guitars so we can all come together. Let's hold that vision of the space and time where as many of us as possible are in the same space and we can create and we can elevate and we can find that wonderful moment where we will find harmony. But for now, I'm going to be your mouthpiece. So you can keep writing whenever you feel. I see there's a few more. From impressions. Mm -mm -mm. Rest is resistance, experiences, rest, sweet, 12 more minutes, fantastic. All right, so I want to see a capital subject, something else that we'd like to make a song about, and then I can keep responding to your wonderful words. I want to thank you all. Artivism. Okay, true freedom. <laughs> see, what's funny is when you do subjects in a row, they seem to be all related. Artivism, true freedom, keep going. I mean, is that not a beautiful Venn di diagram of connection right there? Okay, so we'll do something like that. I'm feeling a kind of reggae vibe, you know? Yeah, let's, let's get some reggae. Inside and say yes, dreams and visions fulfilled. 
everybody blessed Being more than we could ever be by ourselves Or we're connected to everyone else We see it is becoming the bringing forth of our own true genius Co-cognition constellation, it's a meditation Find a way to connect to the others who tell the stories That complement yours or maybe challenge them Each node has a unique life So turn off the light and you will see the stars then You've got three options to be in three different spaces Here in the beaming Or maybe you could go to the Futurist cafe to find another way to play Nothing will stop us from living the dream of inclusive resources shared in between the cultures and We can all share from a living, breathing source of light, not eating death like a vulture Relinquish the division, relinquish the doubt Find your faith, find your nates and you will find that you will Follow the route of everything you're dreaming No separations, one we are and one we're being Being, being Activism Art we live in, artivism, break free from prison. Activism, art we live in, artivism, break free from prison. Activism, art we live in, artivism, break free from prison. Activism, art we live in, artivism. So let me clear all the confusion. Separation's an illusion Cause you are doing what you're doing While I be doing what I'm doing But if I'm being what you're being Then there's no distance between things It's just one to see We landscape the alchemy To find a way that we can plant the seeds And replenish energy we use from the trees let the animals flow and be free Oh mates, not mates Sisterhood, the brotherhood You can find that we could all build a loverhood Not the kind of love they try to sell in Hollywood But the love for the sisterhood and the brotherhood It's unconditional, hey Decentralize, defund, de-escalate, cease fire Cease fire for everything that's being oppressed all these needless deaths We pray, we pray, we pray, we pray That we can see the pain a little less It's a moment of evolution So we all need to grow to stop doing what we're doing Belonging, being in our longing No religion, no division Absolutely no tracks allowed Well that's kind of different I've got nothing against trucks, just maybe what they run on and who funds them But now I'm trying to find a way to remember I left the energy of London and now I feel we're rolling in abundance A knowingness in our beingness that will not be turned asunder Solidarity, compassion, wonder, nuance, curiosity, and a tire Walking on the ground with my bare feet So I can feel the energy beneath me And see we Channeling the spirit like a Ouija Free from prison Activism Hard to live in Artivism Break free from prison Activism Hard to live in Artivism Break free from the prison Activism Art we live in, artivism, break free from prison, activism, art we live in, artivism, we break free from the prison. Okay, I think I've got a few minutes left, so I'm just going to give you a nice little bit of beatboxing and energy, so if you want to shake and move, if you've got speakers, you've got headphones on, you want to feel the bass, I want to give you guys a little bit of a raw beatbox energy because i love this loop station but there was a times when we did not actually have these machines and we used our voice to make these sounds and some of us still do that so 
big up the early hip hop pioneers, the beatboxers, the break dancers, the DJs, the MCs, the graffiti writers and artists. <laughs> Spiralic revival. <laughs> this one's to make you move, move, move. <laughs> break dance and it goes like this. Take it back to the house. Take, take, take it down low. Said you wanna go to sleep. Well, 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 well let's close. Let's close, close, close some, 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 relax, 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 relax.
grateful for all that we've had that we no longer have. When we choose love, bring a regenerative loving, safe world for the next generation and the many more to come. Thank you for rocking with me, people. And I, yeah, I know I got you hyped and hopefully that made you relax as well. So I would love to connect with any of you. My name is Marv Radio, M-A-R-V-R-A-D-I-O on Instagram, or um, you can email me info at marvradio.com. I am creating sound journeys for people to visualize their realities, their highest realities, and to have peace and to call those things in and also helping people to awaken their voice. I'm really happy to be part of this cohort and happy for all the support that has allowed me to be here. And I know that time is not the easiest thing for me to keep track of, so I'm sure that's over half an hour. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for bringing your attention, your words, your energy. And yes, I believe that there will be something else coming here now which I could look at in the agenda, but I think it's better to give that to our wonderful host. Roxy. Marv, come and talk to me. Where can I talk to you, Marv? I want to talk to you. <laughs> Wait, who, who's talking? I can't see the, the screen. That's Animus, awesome. this is you, right? You, you can talk to, talk to me, Marv Radio and everything, but like I'll also happily send my WhatsApp number to people when I can see. But I can just see the presenter view. Right, who said that? It's Animus. I'm like, let's jump in, let's jump in the Zoom room. Ah, really <laughs> perfect. Yes. I'm like, let's jump yes. in a breakout room right now. I have a. Yeah. Okay, if you have the power Which to do that, Animus, let's, let's, let's do that. All right. You have I the power can... to do that, Animus. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> amazing, amazing. Well, see, there you go. You manifested instant connection. Incredible. Let me stop hogging the mic. Thank you for this <laughs> beautiful space. I had a lot of fun. Thank you, Marv. That was incredible. Can we do a little shout out? I want to un unmute, share your voices, gratitude. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Amazing, amazing. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was incredible. Thank you, Marv. I know that there is like a moment recently that like really catapulted. Like sometimes you need to. Uh, try to let something go to then like find its new form you know it's like the cycles compost reformation and i'm just so grateful for this like way that your presence as a core member of this community has evolved i'm so excited this is actually very much the balm i think a lot of us needed after so much like like this like music medicine um that's like woven co-creation It's wild too. Cause we did like a whole collective story earlier, man. This is epic. Yeah. I was really thinking about how we can collaborate in the co collective storytelling and, and music making that I love the way, love the way that was being held earlier. That was super magical and animus. I'm just trying to find the link to the, but yeah, we'll talk. I'll find my way. Yeah, yeah. We'll make a break. It'll be great. Love you, Marv. Thank you. And let's love put you so your much. Thank you. Chat. Thank you for everything. And now I get to introduce Gio from one badass artist to the next. I am okay. There you go. You're free. Hi, Gio. Hi. Hi, <laughs> see. So happy to see you today and to get to have your presence and uh, your artist talk. I'm really looking forward to it. I'll, I'll, I'm going to intro you for everybody. So Gio is going to share uh, her artist talk, uh, The World of Muralism as a Mexican Female Artist. Gio Giovanna Gonzalez is a creative producer, cultural event coordinator, and artivist working 
regeneration of public spaces, natural environment and endangered species, also a mirror, like as a muralist and a painter and an artist, this is how I actually met Gio, through another uh, evolutionary in the design science studio, Elena Novali, uh, on the Ajalote project. Um, <clears throat> so really grateful that that like wove us together in community, Elena was like, wow, you need to be friends. <laughs> <laughs> So the floor is yours, my dear. Thank you so much. So excited for your talk. Thank you so much, Roxy. And also for making all this happen is incredible to see how much effort and time you all put into this. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Seriously. Thank you for that. Um, and so I'm going to change a little bit of my original talk. Actually, um, I found out that um, I'm not ready for talking about gender inequality, to be honest with you. And I'm very excited, very, very extremely excited to actually share with you the project that brought me here and the project that has been evolving into this absolutely beautiful um, kind of channel of different projects all together. So starting with um, Gio, Gio Mantis as my artistic name, a uh, Mexican artist uh, born and raised in, in Mexico. Uh, and um, through my career and um, my artistic um, journey, I've gone through several projects and beautiful, amazing projects that had really changed and shaped where I, I go. But um, still, it's been one of the biggest challenges as an artist is to really find the purpose of my work and understand the important tools that art plays as a change, changing minds and shifting paradigms, paradigms, as we've heard from multiple people in this, in this call. So um, um, trying to understand the goal is not separate from my personal creative journey. It's, uh, it's been a process. So I want to share with you um, some of the projects that have shaped and end with the project that brought me here and how this one has been evolved. So uh, let me just share my screen first. Right here. Second, let me put it in big. All right, you can all see that, right? So um, this is this is the project Colosal in Mexico, Monterrey. And uh, I'm part of a, a big collective of artists that um, has used their art to impact areas that have been um, really hit from crime. This is one of them. This is an example of it in Monterrey, Colosal. Um, this, this project was basically done by 22 artists, hundreds and hundreds of liters of paint, uh, hundreds of volunteers, and we painted 25,000 square meters. So if you do, if you don't do metrical system, this is an equivalent of 515 football fields. Um, it was the most dangerous area in Monterrey, Mexico. And after it was painted, uh, the government reported that the crime was down to 70%. Neighbors organized themselves, even throughout our project, our work, uh, they organized themselves to clean and remodel their spaces. You could see a sense of communal change. And the government went in and changed all their lighting system. People went back to being on the streets and what made me the most happy was to hear some of the women saying that they can actually walk through these streets. This project has really impacted me and has definitely shaped my career towards making an impact with my art, whether it is, um, whether it is in, a, in a conceptual way or in a visual way. It has different ways of impacting society and impa impacting um, places and spaces. So this, this project um, 
brought to several other projects of society of social change. And let me see, hold on one second. I want some technical difficulties here because the bar is right on. All right, so there it is. The axolotl, the axolotl, the actual animal that brought me to the DSSR and the DSS. And I'm really excited to tell you about this because it started all with this beautiful, cute animal in Mexico that um, called the axolotl, uh, ajolote for some people. And this, this, animal has regenerative powers among any other animal that has been known in, in the world. It can regenerate uh, spinal cord, limbs, a head, um, it, even, even their heart, even its heart. And I grew fascinated by it. But the more, the more I dig into this animal, the more I saw that the problem was bigger than just the animal. This animal is in danger is an endangered species and 90% of its uh, population is actually live in aquariums. It's a huge pet all around the world and has um, become very, very popular. This animal just grows, uh, just uh, born, was born, sorry, was developed in uh, Xochimilco in the waters of the Valley of Mexico in Mexico City. And um, due to many, many problems, it has gone down its population. And you can see here, really, really in red lines. So through my explorations uh, in Xochimilco and connecting with other beautiful and amazing artivists, uh, we came to the conclusion that we can no longer actually see this animal as an endangered species and important to protect as, as a cultural aspect and in in scientific aspect. But we actually need to do something about its environment. It, it's really what I felt was my call at this moment. And so I've dedicated this last two years in finding ways of creating awareness about this beautiful very, very important space called Xochimilco. If you've ever been to Mexico City and you've ever had the chance to go to these lakes, these are canals that um, have been naturally formed, but also men and the Aztecs, actually ancient Aztecs, created chinampas, which are islands made out of mud and wood and other mater natural materials. And on top of these islands, uh, people live and people actually put their crops and grow food. It's the one of the most important natural areas in Mexico City that's still alive, but it's definitely being hit by different different problems. One of them is not just the water pollution, but also uh, all the illegal construction that has been happening. Uh, the housings that are heavy constructed with with um, with uh, heavy materials and are put on top of this uh, chinampas, these islands, um, and they have and uh, they don't have sewage. They don't have a, a proper sewage. So one of our projects is actually to really put a highlight on what we can do with the water and the, the correct disposal of this of this um, this housing, and create um, a link with companies that can that can give us um, sponsor to put biofilters into these houses. It's not a normal sewage as this islands are are thin, right? Like they don't they don't give that much space to create a switch. So it has to be something innovative, something intelligent that would adapt to this, this specific area. And the other project that we've been developing and um, super excited to share with you is that this artistic corridor. So we're creating sculptures that are gonna be um, put in very specific locations in Xochimilco that you can get on a boat. For those who don't know actually what Xochimilco is, sorry, I should have told you about this. Um, it's These canals are widely known. It, they're, they're a it's a tourist destination, uh, important tourist destination. You get in, into one of these um, boats that you can see on that photo and 
you know, eat and drink and go around is like a Venice of Mexico. And you can be completely excluded from the city in a very natural environment with your friends and then just experience a cultural um, experience, experience a cultural um, experience, sorry. <laughs> so it is a very important spot to actually use the tourism as an eco-tourism um, initiative. And we're creating the sculptures as we speak to be put on different areas of the canals so people can actually see. And these sculptures are going to be actually in the entrances or uh, logistically put on places where there's actually organizations that are making, putting effort into protecting this animal. They, they're they either, either creating biofilters to clean and, and um, clean the canals, uh, the water, or they're uh, reforesting areas, or they are uh, working with the invasive species that actually eat the ajolotes. And, these sculptures are, are going to be intervened by different artists, different Mexican artists, and are going to are going to be placed. And we're going to have a huge event, which all of you are very welcome to come and join us on the twenty third of March in Mexico City in one of these chinampas. And we're going to have biologists coming in talking about the animals that actually live live in these canals and the importance, cultural importance of Xochimilco. And how we can conserve this important animal. So yeah, this is Somos Ajolote. Finito? Yeah, and just uh, just to conclude that this um, this journey of being an artist uh, is not just to put your effort into just one one topic and one animal or one specific uh, aim, but rather just work with the flow. And uh, I've learned throughout this time that it's important to 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 just continue with the call and those subjects that really uh, make your heart pump. And that's it. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you, Gio. I didn't realize the scale of this project. This is incredible. <laughs> I've spent time in Xochimilco, like, and it, it really is such a, I feel like the canals also, because they bring so much tourism, could really bring a lot of awareness. Um, in addition, because I, I actually bought a little ajalote like ceramic planter when I was there that I like brought home and gave to my sister for her um, for her birthday random story but the reason I tell that story is because I didn't realize that the reason the ajalotes were all over Xochimilco was because that's where they're from um, yeah it's so. four four thousand close to four thousand um it's two two million visitants per season Wow. in Xochimilco. So we're talking about a lot of people visiting this area and no one really knows as you as you as you said no one really knows that the ajolote is is um is from there. Yeah, or is like I mean I think I know that it's endangered but I you know knowing that it's from there and also knowing all the tourism and some of the like waste that happens from you know all of the tourism it's like really just beautiful. I can imagine so many people getting behind this and um and definitely let's gather the the invitation and make sure it goes out to everybody for your event yes it's a I forgot to tell uh, uh, but it's actually um an effort of north north american uh, artists and that's something that uh, really makes me very happy it's a uh, Canada, uh, Von Wang, Ven, Ben, which is going to talk later. Um, Scum, a very well-known artist from crypt cryptocurrency, Solana, and, and Mexico. So it's, yeah, North America getting together for the ajolote. <laughs> Did you get connected to Ben through Lena? 
Uh, I met Lena through Ben, actually. <laughs> and Lena met Ben through the studio. Yeah, exactly. I love I love this weaving <laughs> interconnections. <laughs> And like the, but the way that they're like coming to life in the world, I heard the most amazing story um, from one of our evolutionaries, uh, Wahinia, who's based in Kenya. I didn't realize that. So I connected him to um, Hannah Apricot, who was from Cohort One, who in Cohort One met David Satori, who's a musician who came to teach. And they created this thing called the Sunrise Studios, which specifically funds cultural preservation music projects in, in Africa. And, oh, and, and um, I didn't realize that they met in the Design Science Studio, but they're now funding Wahinia's cultural preservation Kenyan music project that like were completely separate. I was just like, you're trying to find what? I'm like, we have this person over here. And so now like that thing happened through the community and then now they're supporting another it's like hugging the planet it's really so special that's so beautiful i love that uh, i can't wait to tell this story and amplify it and be a part of it and support it and thank you geo for sharing your art and your heart today thank you so much roxy <laughs> okay you're so welcome all right, Ahalote, friends of the Ahalote. I hope you are now all friends. Oh, Gio, there's some good questions for you in the chat. We're going to take a little stretch break. What is a break? No, but really, we're going to take a stretch break for like seven, six, seven minutes. I'm going to put on another song. I invite you to go use the bathroom, stretch, dance, whatever you need to do for your body. We're going to um, also stop the stream and then restart it again. And um, yeah. I hope that you can take this time also explore the schedule there's still stuff happening in both of the other rooms um i think there's like a workshop actually melina's workshop uh i think is just about to start um and that is going to yeah it's just just about to start um in the futures cafe so it'll kind of overlap with the space but it's all about what is life and she's a biomimicry professional and evolutionary biologist and fellow uh, revolutionary so otherwise the other spaces will wrap up pretty soon and come back in here um but maybe pop into the futures cafe if you want to go on an adventure with melina about what is life and with that enjoy the break and we'll be back in like six minutes thank you all thank you to the vision train thank you to the team oh what a team effort so much incredible converging and collaborating to uplift each other it's really really beautiful so we'll be back shortly <laughs> 